I'm just here to say, you know, just for the record, Middle MAGA official statement, I am pro-fat. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am 100% glorifying obesity. Glorifying obesity. Glorifying obesity. Middle MAGA. I have no problem with the, with, with, with the fat. If that's the way that you want to roll, um, I would promote, I, mean, I would challenge everybody to believe the healthy life, however they want to define living a healthy life. But we do know for sure now that New York is defending the fat. What I eat in a day as a fat person on vacation in New York City. And it's it's what what we're seeing here with this is I'm going to read a little bit about what that means. They're defending the fat and the short. So that's where New York is right now. New York's doing a lot. They're doing a lot. They they got this hate bill. They got the quarantine bill or quarantine executive order powers coming back for lockdowns. New York, Governor Hochul's plans for quarantine camps may be in the works again. An appeals court just dismissed a lawsuit from lawmakers and citizen groups. The, just the ability to do lockdowns. They also got this um, media the this bill it's I, I think it might be an executive order i gotta i didn't even read it so let me not speak on it but i saw the headline where they're doing some type of like part of the educational process is to 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 weed out those those people you don't trust online today i'm directing the director of division of homeland security and emergency services to develop media literacy tools for k-12 through in our public schools this will teach students and even teachers to help understand how to spot conspiracy theories and misinformation, disinformation, and online hate. So they, they got a lot going on. Also, we're very focused on the data we're collecting from surveillance efforts, what's being said on social media platforms. And we have launched an effort to be able to counter some of the negativity and reach out to people when we see hate speech being spoken about on online line platforms almost all of it is unconstitutional like damn near every single bit of it but um if new york wants to you know support fat people then go ahead man i mean that's i mean that's your prerogative uh, i think this i think this should be I, think, I don't think this is a good thing i really don't but um this is New York. New York City is on the verge of becoming the nation's largest city to enact weight-based discrimination laws. The city council recently approved a bill that adds a person's weight to the growing list of characteristics protected from discrimination. Just from about 19 to 40 percent. Typically, we tend to see rates are higher in, in women than they are for men. And so this is a very common form of discrimination, and yet almost everywhere in the country it remains legal. Well, so far, broad scale efforts to reduce weight stigma have been slow. We've seen increasing efforts in the medical field to educate healthcare professionals about weight stigma and how it affects their patients and clinical care, but we have- So are we putting effort towards putting down the fork too? Or are we just putting efforts towards not stigmatizing those who haven't put down the fork? haven't seen as much focus on this issue in the context of employment. And that's why this new law in New York City is so oh. important, because it targets employment directly. The president will go on live TV and completely annihilate and discriminate and uh, every day. And but, you know, the Reg Sermon speech and just just completely ostracize a whole group of voting group of people based on their beliefs. Peaceful. Peaceful, law-abiding citizens based on their beliefs. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. You've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us. As long as your patience don't get as thin as that hairline, I think we'll be all right. I am not your child. When, you, when it comes to fat people, that's what needs to be protected. That's the concern in New York City. Obviously, you have to look at the intersectionality. If you're fat with the red hat, that doesn't matter. You're just fat and you get ostracized because you're one of those maggots. But if you're fat and you're against the red hat, we've got a bill for you. So on the screen, they say effects for people experiencing weight stigmas, increased eating, gym avoidance, 
higher stress levels, reduced eating self-efficacy. So are you blaming other people for eating too much, avoiding the gym, your own stress levels, and, and the reduced effectiveness of eating less? Now that's somebody else's fault? If you really love fat people, you'd tell them to be, you know, first define what you think is healthy. I'm not going to define what healthy or good is for you. You go ahead and define that and you reach, you reach for the stars. Uh, this woman says she has a 55 inch party butt and she uses it to smuggle booze into bars. So before every concert, this is what me and my friends would do in the parking lot before we went in. You can go back on the channel and you can look at me, you can look at my, you know, pudgy here, pudgy there. It's an everyday battle. Put down the ice cream, put down the fork. Stay away from McDonald's. That's what I can do for you. Just so what did, what does this mean? Does that mean the New York Knicks have to hire me on as a basketball player? You can't you can't discriminate against me because of my age and how fat I am. I'm fat now to shape. And so if they don't if they don't draft me, is that going to be a problem? Do you have to have fat models? So now when you have models and they're trying on and they're walking down the runway, I, they already got them in there. So I guess they've already kind of kind of worked that in. But are you required now to have models of a certain size? What about police officers? We've seen how well it's gone for these fat officers. I saw a video on X. Four overweight women. This is not a lie. This I'm being dead serious. I believe it was New York. I forgot where it was. Four, there was a guy who they, they had him hemmed up against the wall because he had allegedly stole something. Well, since when did they hem people up against a wall for, for shoplifting now? So that's, that's probably the first red flag. But this is what I saw in the video. I don't know what happened, but the guy is up against the wall and there's four fat women police officers all around him. And they try to handcuff him. And they're so large that only two can get involved at the same time. And they aren't strong enough to, to kind of subdue him. So before they could get the handcuffs on, off of him, he just shakes one of them. He doesn't even punch or push on anybody. He just shook, shook them that one off and then kind of slid in between two of them and ran away. And they had absolutely no chance. They called him later on, but they had no chance of running after him, four of them. Man, that's dangerous, man. They could have got hurt. Uh, there's times, and they have it in the bill, where if the job is is a reasonable job to accommodate someone, but if you have to put that in the bill, what the hell is the point of the bill in the first place? What What's really happening is this is trending towards, and I hate to break it to you if you're white and watching the channel, but don't shoot the messenger. It's just another attack on white is really all it is. If you're white and not fat, if you're white and you're MAGA, basically, if you're white and populous, if you're a straight white male, they ain't got much for you right now. They ain't got much for you other than a jail cell. They ain't got a job for you. They ain't got a care in the world for you. You saw this article. They went after a little five-year-old white boy. Did you see that? with, with the, He went to the, the Florida State Seminoles game, it looked like. And they did a whole piece, a whole article on a five-year-old white boy. I just, I don't, I just want to be honest with y'all. This is just, that's what it trends to. If you're Christian, if you're a Christian straight white male, every, everybody, there's a discrimination law to protect everyone except for you. That's what it comes down to. And we're, it's, we're not there yet. That's where we're trending though. And we all see it. We all know it. Let's just not, let's not pretend like it's not there. It's the elephant in the room. TNT Psychos PDX, what's up? Long time no chat. Was he stealing from Krispy Kreme? No, this dude was a thin. It was a thin. I don't know if he was. A, he looked like a decent shaped black dude, and the four the four officers looked like the women officers looked like they came from Krispy Kreme, and they were all women. And I'm like, if you're big like that, you should be able to subdue a dude just from a weight perspective. But he slimmed all them through and he was gone. He turned around the corner and ran away. I was like, damn, that's fucked up. I mean, they could have got hurt too, all four of them. I couldn't, I mean, some of the stuff I see on X-Man, it's just like, I can't believe this is real. I'm watching the videos. I'm like, there's no way this is real. 
There's no way they sent four overweight women to subdue this dude. So, and then not only that, it was for short, for height too. I don't know if it's for short people or, I focus on the fat part because that's the part that interests me the most. And Eric Adams, if you don't know, lost a little bit of weight and he's a vegan. So he's really into that kind of thing. So that's what happened. He even stole the hand. Oh, did you see it too, TNT? TNT Cycles, uh, he even stole the hand. I didn't see that, but I didn't really, I don't know. It was just one of those videos I saw and like, damn, that's messed up and just kept on going with the rest of my day. It's just so many of those type of videos out there. It's insane, man. Middle MAGA.